are entering a realm of blocky 3D. Do not attempt to adjust your set. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're continuing our Top 10 Overlooked Video Game series with our picks for the Top 10 Overlooked Games of the 5th Generation. For this list, we're examining the 5th generation of games, which includes the Nintendo 64 and PlayStation 1. We are excluding games that got popular long after their release, like Concord's Bad Fur Day. And if you're looking for PC games from this era, be sure to check out our list of the Top 10 Forgotten First Person Shooters. Number 10, Planoa, Door to Phantom Mile. Wow, what did you do? In an era filled with cutesy platforming mascots, it would make sense that this little fella, developed by Namco, would fall through the cracks. This game featured 2D gameplay in a 3D environment, as you play as the young cat-like hero Klonoa, who must, wait for it, save the world. He fights by catching his enemies and throwing them onto others, which turns into an interesting gameplay feature, as you can throw them into the background and the foreground. Number 9, Suikoden. The PlayStation console saw a lot of RPGs in its time, and as a result, a lot of them failed to stand out in a very flooded market, this game being one of them. It follows the tale of a hero in his quest to take down the evil empire of which he was once the subject of, all while searching for the magic runes and... Okay, so it's not the most original story, but its combat system makes it stand out. <laughs> You have six party members on the battlefield, and you're able to recruit over a hundred different characters along the way, allowing you to mix and match multiple combinations to find a fighting style suited for each encounter. Number 8, Croc, Legend of the Gobos. This game is perhaps notable for what it was originally intended to be. Developer Argonaut Software originally pitched this game to Nintendo as a 3D platformer starring their iconic dinosaur Yoshi, but Nintendo rejected the idea. So the main character was reborn as Croc, who sets out on a quest to save the Gobos, small furry creatures that raised him since he was a baby. Although it's a platformer, the game has many puzzle elements that require mental reflection in order to get the best possible score. And honestly, you'd be surprised how cute a crocodile can really be. Number 7, Mystical Ninja, starring Goemon. If you're a fan of anime and comedy, this game is probably for you. The game is part of a series that rarely made it out of Japan. You follow the adventures of Goemon and his ninja friends as they battle the Peach Mountain Shoguns, high-tech aliens who want to turn Japan into a stage for their opera. From your hair turning gold from power-ups to the evil villainess with a high-pitched laugh to the giant robot combat, this game could hardly be more Japanese, complete with a cheesy anime opening theme song. Number 6, Vagrant Story. Religious politics have always been a popular subject in film and literature, but here's a game that made use of the topic. Set in the world of Lea Mon, it follows the story of Ashley Riot, a member of the Valerian Knights of Peace, in a mission to stop a cult leader and uncover the secrets of their magic abilities. The game is an action RPG, allowing you to hit different parts of your enemies in order to do combos. If you like your RPGs with a healthy dose of dark undertones, then this one might suit your tastes. Number 5, Mischief Makers. One of the few 2D platformers released on the N64 when 3D gaming was all the rage, this game features Marina Lightyears, the ultra intergalactic Cybot G, on a quest to save her rather perverted creator from an evil emperor. <laughs> To do so, she can grab and shake just about anything she encounters. Enemies, innocent civilians, kids, plants, missiles, floating balls, you name it and Marina can give it the shakedown. Shake, shake. Where else can you say that you fought a large motorcycle that shoots missiles and can transform into a robotic dog, 
while you're riding on the back of a kitten that can ride on said missiles. Only one thing left to say, shake, shake. Shake, 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 shake. Number four, legacy of Cain, Soul Reaver. I will consume your soul before this day is done. In Soul Reaver, you play as a vampire that's been betrayed by his master, Cain. In exchange for returning from the land of the dead, death itself, voiced by the late Tony J, makes you collect the souls stuck on Earth by the vampires. In the ensuing battles, you must use your strength to push enemies into spots where they can't go, such as flowing water and sunlight. Despite not catching on to mainstream status, the series has garnered a cult following, and it's easy to see why. You are the last to die. Number three, Jet Force Gemini. Rare produced some of the biggest games for the N64, but for some reason, Jet Force Gemini never caught on like its other big titles. This sci-fi third-person shooter has you play as one of three characters, the twins Juno and Vela, and their dog Lupus, in their adventure to stop Mizar and his army of insectoid drones. The game takes you to different worlds while you jump and fight your way across hordes of monsters. The game featured a great variety in gameplay, but it was incredibly difficult to get to the final level. So, Jet Force Gemini is a game best suited for those crazy completionists out there. Number two, Legend of Dragoon. This game may look like just another JRPG, what with a sword-wielding hero with spiky blonde hair. But what actually sets it apart, aside from a pretty decent story, is the battle system, where each attack demands a well-timed hit in order to do more damage, making you take an active part in every battle. Yes. Go. Volcano. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number one, Space Station. Silicon Valley. Finishing off our list is this charming, over-the-top adventure game. In the future, a space station meant to be a fun park becomes overrun by its mechanical animals. Two unlikely heroes are sent to investigate, but due to a stupidity-induced crash, Evo, the robot, gets reduced to a mere microchip and must take control of the different robotic animals of the station to get his body back. And yes, those robotic animals can either be as close to real animals as possible or have mechanical upgrades like wheels or weapons for an insane amount of gameplay variety. You'd probably know the developers of this game, DMA Design, for the name they go by today though, Rockstar North. Chances are, because of the nature of this list, it's possible that we overlooked something. Huh? Hmm. So let us politely know in the comments what games of this era don't get any love anymore. And for more top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com. <laughs>